Whenever you buy a soil pipe from Drainage Sales, it comes with one socketed end and one plain end. On the plain end, there's always a chamfer. The reason for the chamfer is to allow it to, to slide into the fitting nice and smoothly and not dislodge the rubber seal. So whenever we cut a length of soil pipe, we need to recreate that chamfer. And I'll show you how to do that now. You can cut the pipe with a standard saw, but if you've got a fine tooth saw, then it's a lot easier. This is just a standard saw. Now that we've cut the pipe, the first thing to do is to remove any burrs or swarf from the end of it, like so, and then we put the chamfer on it. Now to do that, you can use either a rasp or a file. I, don't, I tend to prefer the file, so I'm gonna put the rasp to one side. So hold it nice and firmly against yourself and move the file just in a diagonal motion downwards over the cut edge. And you can see that you're putting about a, a 40, 45 degree edge onto the pipe and creating the chamfer as we go. When they do this on site, quite often a plumber, if there's a builder nearby with an angle grinder, they'll file up the angle grind, fire up the angle grinder and just hold the edge of the pipe against it and it does this very quickly, a lot quicker than I'm doing it now. So we've now gone right the way round as I've been talking to you and we've put a smooth chamfer onto the end, ready for the pipe to go into the joint. To make the joint, take some silicon lubricant, spray it round our chamfered end, nice and liberally. Take the joiner, offer it up nice and square, hold it firmly, and just push it home like so. The joint pushes in nice and smoothly and that seal hasn't been dislodged in any way because of the chamfered end. I hope that helped. There's plenty more hints and tips on our website, which is www.dronysales.co.uk. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.